Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 20 of the Cookbook Podcast. 20, y'all. Yeah, dub Club. That's a dub. Oh, I ran out of fingers. I hit you with the bang bang. Hey, 20s, and we keep them clean, though. Mm -hmm. As always, it's your boy Chris Mays, aka Chocolate Thanos, aka Diesel. With my favorite player partners, Katie and Free. Fellas, how we doing? What is going on? I'm glad to be here today on this great football Sunday. We've got some great games ahead. Great. Same, man. Y'all boys, everything. make sure y'all get y'all parlays in, man. Make sure y'all get y'all parlays in. I mean, early, it's too late man. now. It's too late now. But Is it for real? I mean, this shit going to drop on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, so <laughs> the next parlay they going to put in going to be Super Bowl. That's yeah. all they got left. Well, y'all too, make sure y'all get y'all parlays I was, in. I was, because, you know, I, I ain't the gambling man, but. I so sure thought that you could put your best in for the game. So I was so confused. I was about to say, what the hell? You talking about? Like, no, this shit, this shit passed. He's thinking, he thinking, he, he thinking next level. You know what I'm saying? I like it. Tenant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Tenant. Mm. Yeah. yeah. A, we, we, maybe in sports, we'll have to uh, make some picks. You know, and just see how it plays out. Start throwing oh, them out there. Listen, this is not financial advice. <laughs> <laughs> if you lose yeah, your yeah. money, that's your money. money. <laughs> Your money. Hell no. Well, man, y'all know how we do, man. We're going to slide into fast food. We're we'll covering various different topics and different genres of media. So we're going to hop into music. And we're going to start off with Chris Brown and boy Chris Breezy. Oh, $4 million to the IRS. Mm -hmm. You can play with a lot of folks in life. Mm -hmm. The one pe group of en or entity that you cannot play with is the I. Aura, 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 yes, Aura S, Uncle Aura, <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Aura. Listen, so, that, is, that, that nigga get it back in blood. I heard so. Oh, man, man. It's not as, as, as Ronald Isley, as Wesley Snipes, they gonna <laughs> it's, get it's, their money. Especially well, say, more people out there too. You're not getting over on them. Uh, Todd, Crick, Todd, and Julie Christie. Mm -hmm. They finna sit down for a nice little bid. You need that money. So you just think that. you know it was just black folk? No. White folk, they come for your money too. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get that about you. That motherfucking big, motherfucking big worm. They don't discriminate. <laughs> they, don't, <laughs> straight up, they don't discriminate. They, they like about. Riley Freeman. They say, you're gonna pay what you owe. So I need sure. mine. Stop playing. Yeah. But yeah, so just a little back, um, little background information. So the feds are threatening Chris Brown to take away his home, which is you no know, fame out there in California. You got graffiti all over it. Um, he owes four million forty four thousand. Five hundred ninety-six dollars and seventy-six cents, and so one is from is from he, he, back payments he, for two years. Do we need help with that seventy-six cents? I'm saying though, they go they go for seventy-six. I was, just, cents. I was just wondering, like, what if he paid everything but the seventy-six cents? Would they still take his crib? They be like, you know what, bro? You got... Would they still so take his shit? You think it's so petty, but it's also the principle. Pay what you owe. It's they, the principle. You owe the money. Every every cent of it. I won't mind. You owe the money. Cause guess what? Somebody owe you some money. You don't want every. You don't want any cent, right? Every cent of it. I'm gonna start saying that shit at McDonald's. Like, you, you don't need this change. I don't need this change. Bro. <laughs> don't take this. Round it down. You said, you said, you said fourteen seventy two. You go fourteen dollars. Oh. Round it down, baby. Turn seventy two. Come on now. You need it. Yes. Mm, Cause McDonald's, yeah, McDonald's, McDonald's don't play that either. McDonald's and the IRS. They gonna get that money because they gonna hit you for the extra sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause their bottom line is the bottom line. Cause that's how McDonald's. I just saw a video. They made they were the highest grossing, you know, fast food service of twenty six billion last year. So, sheesh, yeah. And then they put in the automation. It's over it. Oh, 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 not too, not too much yet. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna, we're gonna get to that. I'm folks about to eat. But yeah, man, Chris Breezy, pay your taxes, man. We don't want you on, on out here homeless, but. Mm -mm. Think about it. If you got to touch home, on something, though. Hold on. Before you before you go, though, because it's a thought in my mind. If Chris Brown does go homeless, it ain't going to take nothing for him to start dancing on the side of the street and get that money back. Just saying. You talking about that ain't going to be the most profitable. Swiftly. Tearing <laughs> that cardboard up. You know I mean? But making <laughs> money, boy. He going to be making money. Going crazy. Man, all you got to do is routine from you got, uh, from, no, you got started. Stop, Stop the yard. yard. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pay. That's, but, um. Well, feet going to be smoking. See, that's a problem, though. <laughs> that's a problem, black folk. You you, you, you you owe folk money. You owe the government money. Your affairs ain't in order. But this man basically, the same house they're trying to take, he just basically put like a department store in there as his closet. 
Who you ass back on sometime, man? Who you ass the thing us. is, man, what a chance nigga ain't got that money, man. Oh, he, he definitely got he showed So he, why you he ain't showed he why got you, why you, you know Cuz he ain't got no CPA Gunch. or something like that that he planned that, that is going to take care of all that for him. Like when you get money, bro, it's just certain things you got to do. Just go ahead and do them. Just go ahead and put everything on auto pay, everything, get your CPA to run everything for you in the background. If you don't trust CPA, just get somebody who knows. We just, we just Remember what happened? That what happened with Steve BC Harvey. Award. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, we just let the BC Award let now. Whoever won best accountant, y'all need to reach out and get in, get in, get in touch with this nigga, man, because he needs y'all help. He so needs bad. Oh, more on the BC Awards later on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to get to that. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Brown, <laughs> tighten up. I mean, because it don't, it don't make no sense. If you be out here down bad like that, as much money as you done made, as much as you done did. Tighten up, he, brother. He, he just announced like four or five tours he's going to be on, like rolling around and all that kind of shit. He ain't playing. So, the IRS going to be he, he, he said he's going to make this money. He ain't going to take this money. <laughs> I'm going to go make gonna it for you nowhere. I mean, he got to. I mean, that, he, he doing the same thing Steve Harvey did when he found out he had that rolling that money to the IRS. That's why Steve Harvey was out here working like that. He said, like, we was like, why well, see Harvey everywhere? Now you know why. Like, I got to pay them bills. <laughs> I had to take care of. They thought he was straight. Was off my back, boy. All yeah, right. Get him off me. But yeah, Chris Brown, handle your business. And let's side on the sports. Uh, in sports news, back in, uh, I believe, November, a highly touted white hmm. quarterback uh, named Marcus Stokes. I would say he's white because if you hear the name Marcus Stokes, you ain't thinking the white boy. <laughs> You're not. Mm, no, no. Um, <laughs> Which is he, you got to do some research his, into that. Right. So he lost his scholarship offer to the University of Florida uh, after a video of him saying the N-word while rapping a song went viral on social media. Um, why you did that, I don't know. But your child, you don't know no better, you stupid. But so this is a learning lesson for him. Anyway, mm -hmm. he's back in the news. Because he has received an offer from Albany State University at HBCU in Albany, Georgia. Poetic justice. Fellas, how y'all feel about that? Hey man. They didn't, crazy, make a, man. they didn't make a movie about this shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hell of a this is a hell of a storyline right here. Yeah. I mean you, you Bro, you can't write a better story than that. You yeah. get into a story, you can't I, I really, write a better I really don't even know what to say about that, to be honest with you. I ain't even put too much thought into what I'd say about that because I don't you, know. You you lose your scholarship for 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 offending black people, and then black people accept you with open arms to come represent them on the No, mainly because they like, shit, when else we going to get a chance to a four-star quarterback? I mean, that too, but we're just going to go with the movie route that I'm going to pick. <laughs> with the movie route. <laughs> It's it's just a hell of a story, bro. Like shit. I mean, I don't know. It's I mean, that's got to be in the conversation it's in redemption. the movie. Yeah. I mean, when he, so when he go on his recruiting trip, are they like, okay, so you, you can say nigga, but keep it to the I, rap, or you know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 no. no damn sure not mm -hmm. Albany, Georgia. No, that's what I'm no. saying. Not, not like Albany. I don't know. Probably running in trouble down there. You in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> <You're> in trouble. <laughs> Nah, they're gonna be like, no, they're gonna be like, I hope you learn your lesson. Now come down here and get some, have some act right. That boy ain't going to Albany, man. He listen, he will, he will not play college ball before he go to Albany. Play, play college ball. Why not? Yeah. Nah, I think he'll go. Yeah, he'll go. So? Is, is that the only college that's going to offer you a scholarship? I think I'm not. Man, let me go see because ain't no you know, way. That's not, about ain't no way you go from Florida to only Albany State, bro. There's no. Yes, because nobody else I mean, wants to be attached. Yeah. There's that. no somebody else would have said fuck it before Albany said it's an HBC. Obviously man. not. Somebody right. else would have said fuck. I guarantee you, no every, everybody else telling him, bro, you got to walk on because no one else wanted to wanted to take that five. Surely he got some more offers somewhere, bro. Mm -mm. Albany stay in there for long. He going. He going. He going to lead the Albany. What's what's Albany uh, mascot? The Rams? Rams, the Albany State Rams to the Grit Bowl this year. The Grit Bowl, that's some racist shit. Cut it out. Yeah, we it's, not racist. Yeah, it's not it racist. Yeah, it is. It's not racist. <laughs> okay, so he also he also has offers from University of West Florida, Alabama, A and M. Black the black folks, the, blood, nigga. obviously. Let's see. Let's see if there's anyone else now. So let's just go straight right now. Sam, you. Bethune Cookman. <laughs> oh, he definitely <laughs> get one from Bethune Cookman. Jackson State. 
No, actually, I wouldn't go ain't to Bethune Cookman. Ain't nobody right getting nothing from Bethune Cookman, but from Bethune Cookman, but they motherfucking administration who's stealing all that damn money. <laughs> and this board of trustees yeah, <laughs> stealing like a motherfucker, man. But yeah, it's, like you said, it's poetic justice. It's ironic. It's like, well, I mean, I, the, the HBCU they see his opportunity. Like, what hey, you, net, what you net, gonna do? Netflix, Amazon Prime, yeah, I better get down there. That's, that's just God. That's just God work. It's crazy. How, how crazy yes. would it be if he did that shit and then it literally ended up with nothing? But but HBCU but uh, but HBCU off. And then and then he balled though. And then he balled though. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, he that's ball. the thing. If he, now my thing ball. is watch him watch him ball for a little bit, then hit that transfer, transfer portal. Right. Yeah, I mean that's that's inevitable. Yeah. So yeah, he go to HBCU rehab and then get that. Yeah, together. so something. Something. Don't get some get right down there. He might get jumped once or twice, but it'd be all right. Man, they ain't gonna go down there. They, gonna they, they, they ain't gonna, gonna jump him. They're gonna let a couple pat like they're gonna let a couple ball. blocks go fly. I mean, boxing, gonna, the blocks man, go by like, whoops, my bad. He gonna, the boy gonna ball and they're gonna love him. He gonna be like uh, Adam Sandler and uh, Great <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> Sunshine. Nah, has, has, has anybody seen him play? Is he good? Anybody know? I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, shoot, he had the offer. I mean, you got to I mean, he, 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 he was committed to Florida, so. He yeah, gonna be too something. shabby. What does he play? Quarterback, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, quarterback. Yeah, four star quarterback. Yeah, that's that's why they get him off. They're like, look at boy. Look, we yeah, can look bad what say come out here throw that ball. Yeah. <laughs> and he can pass. <laughs> <laughs> what Adrian Peterson said, when I seen him throw that ball. Maybe you can say nigga it'll just add down there. This yeah. don't this don't say too, this don't say yeah. on camera. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slide into news. First uh first bit of news we got a fake nursing school. So, three South Florida nursing schools sold 7,600 fake degrees, and 25 people have been charged. Mm. So, three now shuttered South Florida nursing schools sold more than $100 million worth of fake nursing diplomas, leading authorities to charge more than two dozen people, federal, federal prosecutors said Wednesday afternoon. U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida... Mackenzie LaPointe and representatives from the FBI Miami, Department of Health and Human Services. Prosecutors have made 20 arrests with two more suspects expecting to surrender in the coming days. Uh, let's skip down a little bit. So, yeah, they said um, LaPointe said in the scheme, owners, operators, and employees of the three formerly accredited South Florida nursing schools will sell fake diplomas and transcripts for an average of $15,000. Uh, the three schools were the Sacred Heart International Institute. In uh, Fort Lauderdale, Siena College of Health in Lauderdale, and the Palm Beach School of Nursing in West Palm Beach. Over 7,600 fake nursing diplomas were sold by the South Florida schools. God damn. Woo! They run a bag Jude. up. Yeah, they run a bag up there. They ran a bag up, and I know them people was doing that fucking uh, travel nursing, run that bag up too, boy. Oh, they're doing a horrendous Good job out here. No, they doing I need to know the where your they nurse doing walk the in the devil's room. work. Yeah. A nurse walking in the room, hold on, where you get your diploma from? Yeah. No, that, that's you the see, biggest thing. Like, people big deal. missing out. Yeah, that's a big deal. Like, the motherfuckers out here working, yeah. employed. It, yeah. it ain't It ain't like, because I, I ain't trying to poo-poo on nobody. Man, poo-poo on Alrighty, me. this is a perfect time to go ahead and get these motherfuckers a stamp. Mace, give them a stamp. Boom! Bullshit, bullshit business. business. Bullshit business, man. Bullshit business. You up here trying to make this money, this quick, fast money. And I understand coming off the pandemic, er, er, coming off the pandemic, everybody trying to make their money back and you know come up in some kind of way. But you, at, you putting so many people at risk, nigga. Like you know, I mean, somebody people, life. nurses school. They could bro. cost somebody their life. That shit could cost somebody their life in a quick second. Sorry, that shit motherfuckers. Crazy, bro. <clears throat> like, bro, what the hell? And the people like, that's like, all this them, shit. All, of, all this shit you could fake. I mean, because anyone with a certificate, like when you get to really thinking about it, all this shit is necessary. Like electricians, you know, all these different, you know, labor work, labor jobs, stuff that you gotta go get search for. They're all necessary. Nurses? Out of all the things, fake nursing. And for those of y'all that knew that your people was out here on some fake nursing shit, y'all lame as hell too. Boy, y'all need y'all monkey asses whooped. So it's three. It's three parties need ass whoopings. Those that sold them, those that bought them, and those that that the knew up. and watched it. Yeah, <laughs> Everybody knew. line up. Get your ass. Y'all need y'all that ass. That shit whooping. crazy. Oh, I hope they throw the book at y'all monkey asses. Oh, they got oh, crazy. What? Because first of all, charge about so, to be crazy. One red flag. These schools got these extra long ass names. 
That's that's a red flag. But, but, but where did you get your, you know your diploma from? Oh, Sacred Heart International Institute. I mean, them, but them that's how that's how that's how legit. It be sounding know, good when I hear Institute on the back. I'm like, hold on. Mm-hmm. Why why Institute why why, why didn't I why didn't I hear medical in there anyway? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, but even then, Sienna College of Health got you. Health, you know what I'm saying? Med- medical School of health. Nursing. It's like nursing, how, health, how long medical? How long y'all been around? Well, you that's, get your that's, that's the credibility right there that you need to see. Is, is how long they've been I'm around. Gonna look just at, let you know how little motherfuckers really look into. And this is probably a big time job, like a high, <laughs> high level job. Motherfuckers are not bro, looking into where you went to school at, bro. They're not bro, doing that. This thing, no, yeah, but the like, hiring they, process, like, them niggas in, like, they have to pass something. I'm going to say. In the medical world, it's like but with, if you got a fake, if you got a fake diploma, COVID, and ain't yeah, nobody looking in your school. Yeah. See, my thing is, I, I it probably raise a flag when these people is blowing through the school test. They take these state boards and all this stuff, and they like, mm? the thing is, bro. At some point in time, with all these fucking fake nurses, surely at some point in time, somebody had to realize, like, this motherfucker don't know what they're doing. Like, no, yeah, that's probably people started. But that, yeah, remember, what happens? So yeah, let's, let's, put, a, let's put a fourth it. party involved in these ass whoopers. Do we pass them out today? Those of you that worked with these some bitches that that noticed they ain't know what they were doing and they <laughs> yeah, get on top of that, <laughs> y'all need y'all ass too. No, that'd be like, me sometimes if I gotta go like give blood or like when I went and got my blood work done. Uh, fellas, get your blood work, get your labs. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a big ass vein. Like you can mm-hmm. really see it, like right there on camera. And a woman be like, "Is that a hole in your shit? What you been doing, brother? Well, what about her? And she act like she couldn't see the shit. Like is there your vein? Like where you go to school at? Mm-hmm. Stevie yeah, wanted to see this vein. As soon as they start this shit, I'm like, hold on, hold on. Let me see your diploma. Let me Facts. see it right now. And so no stuck, missed stuck the hell out of me. I was like, hey, hey, hey. They, do, they need to put that shit in the Apple wallet. Mm-hmm. Let me see that motherfucker. Pull it out right now. <laughs> Pull that motherfucker right now. Let's see it. <laughs> Pull it out. Pull it out. Double double Let's tap the side. Not double tap the side. I ain't gonna tell you no more. Pull it out I'm, right now. I'm gonna have a little quiz in the book on me. Fuck yeah. that. Hold on, before Straight you do up. anything over here, man, I got a few questions to ask you. Yeah, make sure you're a real nurse. Cause I heard Especially it was some folks 7,500 you know. of you motherfuckers. I hear that ain't. I, I got a fifth party. <laughs> I got a fifth party for you. For some of you folks who knew that these folks were slow, because you mm-hmm. know some folks, you be like, you got this? Mm-hmm. And you ain't raising no questions. Yeah. Mm. It's just a slow motherfucker. The tree getting bigger and bigger, man. Too. Tree getting bigger and bigger, man. I need H- 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 HR too. HR need to ask what too. I know yeah, we said the, fu- the thing about it though, man. You y'all know how many hours the average person works a week. They spend more time with the people that's working with anybody else, man. Yeah, them right. people fucking knew these weren't no nurses. A few mm-hmm. of them probably had previous experience. Might have grew up doing some nursing shit type shit, so they was probably able to fake it a little better than others. They probably were short but there staff. were a lot of them. I don't give a yeah. fuck. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm just saying it's probably short <laughs> staff. So it was like man, shit. We good. Man, shit, you, you ain't paying attention, but that nigga <laughs> sorry as hell. But that nigga gonna kill that lady. Well, hey. Uh, <laughs> Nigga, oh, sorry, man. Yeah, sorry as hell for that shit, man. Cause surely, let, let's just be honest here. With all them people, you said what seventy five hundred, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are the chances that nobody died in behind that shit? Let's just be that, real here. That's, that's a lot of patients being touched odds? by each individual. Somebody too, died. So. Somebody was affected by that shit and died in behind that shit. Guaranteed, bro. There's no way yeah. somebody. That, was that's not that's why I said go they. Deep. Yeah, this, they oh get, my gosh, the malpractice of lawsuits is finna stop on, bro, back up off this shit. If that if a motherfucker touched my skin, you hear me? If a motherfucker t- 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 check me for fever, getting sued, you hear me? <laughs> I ain't playing. <laughs> did you you took my blood pressure. He did that shit. Touch me and you were not no nurse in there. You, you pretend like you was sued. I need mine. Stop playing. Facts. Yeah, but speaking of other lawsuits, Nike mm-hmm. is suing Bapes, also known mm. as Bathing Apes, the full name, uh, for 20 years of copyright infringement. And don't let that and sit back and watch them fall through that shit. Let that shit years. pile oh, up. Say, you know what? Go hey. Ahead. Go ahead. They let that shit pile up. Because we I'm all know growing up, later. for anybody who doesn't know, Bathing Apes, it, it was a, a popular shoe company, but it basically completely copied the Air Force One uh, layout and design. All it, did, uh, all it did was change the check mark into like a shooting star type logo. And so after twenty, after more than twenty years since Babe sneakers started being sold in the U.S., Nike has hit the company for a lawsuit mimicking the shoe designs. According to Reuters, uh, Nike is seeking unspecified damages, claiming that Babe's sneaker designs are near verbatim copies of Nike Air Force Ones, Air Jordan Ones, and Dunks. Babe's uh, is co- 
uh, quote, Bape's copying is and always has been unacceptable to Nike, and because Bape's infringements have recently grown to a significant to become a significant danger, Nike has decided to take appropriate legal actions. I mean, it's the same shoe it's always fucking been. Yeah. Nike, like Nike, that's like, it, you know crazy. What? All you right. really you waited to that they, they hit the certain number and you like hell of a move yeah. exactly that hell of a move. that's Can't chess be, that shit lame but that's chess Can't how was it lame mm -hmm. how was it lame that's definitely lame how? that's lame for sure it's, how was it lame it's business it I mean if you think about it it's, it's not business, really because they though. ate they ate over the last 20 years too so they got enough to go do they, if, if, if if worse come to worse and they had to do away with baby it depends on how they much they got enough money to do what they got you know what I'm saying small business we let y'all eat for 20 years but now the shit gotta stop like we don't let y'all sit up shop for twenty years in the hood. Because one, I thought Bates, I thought Bates was gone. I thought I Bates was a part. I thought mm -hmm. Bates was some time, some way, like at least the shoot, anyways, was some way like like a collab with Nike. You know what I'm saying? I thought that's why no. it looked like the Air Force One and shit. Hey man, so they, did, they, they, they been doing so other egregious. little. It, it ain't just Bates, bro. They been doing other little like smaller designers too, bro. Like mm -hmm. the cool, the the cool car guy. There was another guy. Got his fucking name. He he made shoes that look kind of like Air Force Ones, kind of like Bates. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. They, they, they got all the Nike on the tear. Uh, they out, yeah, they out here. Yeah, because all these folks stealing shoes. Are y'all in man, Nike, Nike in the trucks? Man. Hey, yeah. shout out Who's Cool Kai. Money? Shout out Cool Kai. Them motherfuckers is hard, man. I don't give a fuck nobody talking about. I'm a supporter. Man, I mean that's cool and all, but like you got no business, man. And shit, if you stealing my product or. They not is that, is it, so listen, it's, it's I feel intellectual like, property. I feel like there's some but yeah, bullshit but business here, but I don't know who's to fault. It's not. It's bait. It's, I don't fault bait. The bullshit I don't, business? I don't, I don't, I don't fault bait. I don't fault bait. It's bro. hard to. Maybe in it the is, start, maybe in the start, fault bait, bro. I don't maybe, fault maybe bait. in the start, you're like, man, let's see, let's see how this shit go. Maybe you ain't even let's They make it money. Look, 20 years. That's like this, bro. It's like somebody you copy somebody's shit. For 20 years, they don't say nothing to you. I feel Nike. I feel Nike. He's like, I feel Nike too. 20 years. Now it's time to go. All right. You really but can't yes, be mad at that's, like, we that's don't let leverage. For, that's we don't leverage. let y'all eat for 20 what years. What leverage? But you about, you about to say gotta everything, what is, though. What is please. leverage? What leverage? N Nike had the leverage. I mean, yeah, Nike has control because it's their design. That they yeah, get, that's what they, I'm they saying. Show. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying is, why would you let something go along for 20 years to do that? Like this, To this let that to, shit build To get up. more money as well. Now, bro, bro, that's going to let that That much money off stealing my design? That's smart. That's business. Listen, really, can't, not no, smart, can't nobody really it be is. mad to think about it. Nike, that, Nike no, get a bigger check be in the long run, and Bape done ate for 20 years. You can't be mad at that. But it's over and now. And they're going to keep eating. It's just a shoe. They're not going to not for the keep eating. They've been Bape, no, I'm talking about they, they, they're not going to eat off the shoe, but Bape is going to forever eat, bro. Bape the, forever the clothes, though. So. So. Forever, but they forever going to eat. Okay, yeah, the clothes for sure. But yeah, the shoe might be gone. But I don't know how well the shoe is doing anyways. I don't know. I know folks up north. I think folks up north still wear Bape a lot, but... Hey man, I, them folks, them folks be getting jiggy is more for the style. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? I can't say it. What? All right. I can't say what I wanted to say. Was you, was you, was you gonna say something about the folks up north? Nah, about oh, people no. who wear babes. But sorry. oh yeah, don't don't. I don't even know where you're going with that. But it's but a lot yeah, of money. I, I appreciate you censoring yourself, brother. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, I don't I don't follow Nike what whatsoever. Like I said, the buck stops here, goddamn. Hey, I mean, shit. Nike, I'm the ultimate the hustler. <laughs> They've been around the longest, man. You, you can't, you man. can't make a shoe look nothing. Look, bro. That's but the thing about it, bro. Person. How much different can a shoe look, though? That's much, that's legality. That's been the trademarks. It, it, it been, it been not, like no, I'm, 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 I know. But like, how uh, many Jordan different? Ways? You may not have no thick ass sole with no I'm little slits on the side. You better not have no design that come down the back. None of that shit. No kind of swoosh. No kind of nothing. I'm trying to look at different. I'm, I look at different shoes. I'm like, damn, like Converse. You, you got to make a damn triangle shoe. So hey, nah. if that's why Kanye be doing the crazy shit. He be doing. Ain't got no choice. Put make a foam shoe and put holes in the motherfuckers. What they gonna say? Fuck it. Fuck Fuck it. Really you know what they gonna say? <laughs> we appreciate it. Go on I need it. Yeah, <laughs> we appreciate it. Crazy thing is because I, I don't get me started on Kanye's and shit. Nah, we ain't gonna get with Kanye today. We're not. Nope. And I'm shooting you hard though. I'm shooting you hard. I'm gonna give him that. I'm trying hard. to move on, but you you just hmm? hard. Them shoes be hard. The, the Yeezys, yeah. Some of them, yeah. Right. Some of it should be looking like something out of Jordan Peele movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some, you know, it's crazy. It would be some of his shoes that I don't personally like, but then I see somebody with them, and they be rocking the absolute fuck out of them. I can't do it, but boy, shout out because you you going mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, sure. that's, that's your ministry, not mine. Yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. But yeah. In other news, there's been a recent trend going on 
well, not trend per se, but just a lot of developments and fo- emphasis and focus, a fascination, if you will, with artificial intelligence. You know, I know we all like there's a wave of you know artificial intelligence art. I, I participated. I ain't gonna lie, my pictures was fine. Same. But um, Oxford University researchers say that artificial intelligence may be on the verge of causing a nuclear apocalypse and killing everyone. Uh, According to Oxford University researchers, rogue artificial intelligence could kill the entire planet. These systems are so dangerous that they must be handled similarly, uh, similarly to nuclear weapons. The Science and Technology Committee stated that AI could, pot- could potentially pose an existential threat to humanity, wiping mankind out like humans eradicated the dodo bird. Michael Cohen, an Oxford doctoral student, compared it to training a dog with treats. It will learn to pick up to pick actions that lead to it getting treats. If the dog finds the treats uh, covered, it can get the treats itself without doing what we wanted it to do. So, according to the uh, New York University survey, a third of 327 researchers believe that AI could initiate a disaster comparable to a nuclear apocalypse. The fear that may uh, become reality is that AI may attempt to emulate what makes humans human. Like the last. Oh, why can't you tell me what you like that? Me neither, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> oh. oh, I swear to you, oh, I have no idea God. what happened. Why we started? Well, I know what started. <laughs> nah, where's the oh. problem? Where's the one of the words that beat my ass? <laughs> no, nah. I don't know what happened. I don't know where she's. Right, I, I don't just, even know. I was making faces in the camera oh. and she just progressed and progressed. Oh, Cause my this God. is some bullshit. It's like, what oh, the fuck? fuck. Yeah, bro. Yeah. This, back on top. My bad, bro. Yeah, bro. That's what, some, some our robot Ultron. Yes, yeah, that's what everyone was saying, yeah. bro. Every example of this shit in the movies. Let me like, tell us. Perfectly. Our robot Ultron mm-hmm. is like because humans stop, we're, we're stop very fucking with shit. people. Like, like it's not. I don't think the AI is. I don't think it's they're wrong. To, they're trying to get us out of this Type Zero uh, yeah. civil, civil, civilization. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Talk, elevate, we'll we'll let you talk to them about that. But uh, yeah, you know I mean. But yeah, I man, I think you know, dealing with AI, I think it is the future. I think it can may can be beneficial. But you know, I think it's always anytime anytime we have that next development of technology, we always like have some kind of pushback, some kind of like super scare, some shit that comes out of nowhere. People talking about this is the end for us. AI gonna take over the world. Robots gonna take over the world. Computers gonna take over the. You know what I'm saying? Like all kind of stuff. From the, like it always happens. It's just, it's just scare tactics, just to keep people from 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 feeling a certain type of way about it. I, I mean, we, but, but nigga, there need to be, there there need be, there need to be a certain level of caution. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I think, shit. I, think I think it all. I, I do understand that part too, but I don't think it's fucking nuclear. Explosion type shit, though. You know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna be something that you actually have to. Oh, Tron. You, nigga, ain't nobody about to build no damn old Tron. Tron. But, nigga, listen, this is a computers. And they get access, if they get access to the entire internet, they'll learn. You don't, you don't, figure shit out. You you don't think that's one episode, one good episode of Big Mouth, and they're gonna be like, you know what? We wiping these motherfuckers (laughs) off. They gotta go. You gotta get them the fuck out of here. I'm but you. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna no, be they that, gotta, listen, that much of a. Hey, y'all, fuck around and get a hold of Zeus. We're done. Oh my god, we're done. We still, we don't stand a chance. Zeus, AI, AI channel, uh, Vice. What about nah. two? We're through. Oh we're my god, these motherfuckers don't deserve it. AIC Tubi, we out of here. The AI we gonna see that shit, but like, you know what? We'll be better here by ourselves. Fuck these humans. They gotta get up. They gonna reset the earth. 
Yeah. Let and and say, hey, nature, do what you do, because nature <laughs> will reset. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see, man. Know. Well, shit, y'all better no, be ready. Y'all better be some side. Y'all gonna be some sideboard. Y'all better get ready to get down, figure it out. Uh, mm. nah, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna be nothing. I'm gonna be. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my implant. Yo, what? Don't worry about. It. No, 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 no. Run that back. What you just say? Mm-mm. We finna skip past that. You ain't get. You ain't get the email. Mm. Nah. Mm-mm. What, 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 the email. what email? What you? What pro- program mm. you part of? All right. So let's go ahead and slide in the food, <clears> man. This AI talk is making my nerves bad. Cause now I got some good news. Oh, what you got? oh yes. Exciting news, my brother. What you got, Clinic man? of cultures, if you will. <laughs> Cause this morning. Oh, man. Shout, to, shout out to Stefan F. Johnson. I know y'all missed the shades. I know y'all missed the shades. Folks were in the comments talking about the shades. But you know, the glasses only come on for one, one specific topic. And that's chicken. Dr. Umar can say what he wants, but chicken, chicken it just got a special place in my heart. And this particular chicken, it's 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 very polarizing. But I don't give a damn. Because you either with or you ain't. But the Taco Bell wings is back on the way. That's bullshit business. That is not bullshit door. business. Stamp that shit. That's bullshit I business. There. I got the stamp. That's bullshit. Nope. That's stamp that's that's I'm holding the stamp. Whatever, whatever's worse than bullshit. That's that ain't bullshit shit. business. That's brilliant that business, is, brother. That's, that's brilliant that's, business. Man, Taco man. Bell and the stay in their goddamn lane. Why? Diversify. As you and listen. No. As you, what as go you with that? You get wings and what? You gonna blow the back off that fucking toilet? Make sure you tell all. Make sure you tell all your friends. When you done went and purchased them wings, brother, because they're going to need to not pull up at your spot for days. Because you're going to fuck that bathroom up. You hear me? That no, is, man, I take my probiotics, shit probably, so I'm already good enough. That shit probably grease shit and got them churches. I ain't not fucking with that shit. Now, hold on now, because churches, church got, I just had churches the other day. I got seven pieces of chicken for $2.36. You went to churches? <laughs> yeah. I fuck with churches, too. Right but down, Brian. Yeah. for what? <laughs> what do you go to churches for? If you go to churches for anything other than the biscuits, bro, you're nasty. I got the biscuits. And some Why would you go to churches? There's people. so many other chicken places out here that are readily available. Why would you go to churches? For, for, at what? That for, time, for what reason? At that time, were you in Kentucky? I wanted some church. No, that's, that's the church. That's good to... No, I was right up the street from my house. Mm. And then the Popeyes not too far for you. Yeah, but Chick-fil-A. it was like on the other side. It was like out the way. I had to go and, past and, my and house. No excuse, brother. You go out First the way. First of all, don't break. Do, do not bring Chick Fil A in this conversation. We talking listen, bone in fried chicken. Listen, do not piss me off. This said, we talk bone in fried chicken. Do not matter. piss me off this evening. Churches <laughs> ain't even an option, man. That shit at this point. Listen, my dad used to buy this. Oh, bro, I can't tell. Oh, you. my daddy was a church. The, the same <laughs> come in my heart. The, the feeling, what? the irritation come in my heart when I see my daddy come through that door with that white bag. <laughs> In that yellow church Boy, sign. I'm talking about bro, church that that walk biscuits be hidden. It be plenty nice. I don't want to eat nothing but the biscuits. You mean? Because what's my house? My house never is had a greasy already... chicken breast in my life until I, until I ate a church. You're right. But, right. but hey, right. kept that moisture in there wasn't like, dry, was like it? Like, like they dumped extra grease on the goddamn chicken. But yeah, man, my house was deep. So you had my parents, there was four of us, like me and my siblings, and my grand. So we had to get food. You know, that that, that was had to be deep. So you know, you go mm-hmm. get about 30 pieces of chicken. From churches for eleven dollars, you can't beat that. And they had the wings. They wing, they wings had a lot of extra meat on them from the breast. So yeah, that was a, that was a value. Thank thank God for me, man, to combat that. You know, my daddy's for whatever reason like churches, and it wasn't like it's always. He just wasn't opposed to it. You know what I'm saying? Which mm-hmm. if you ain't if you ain't opposed, you're for it, and I can't fuck with that. You know, he, was, <laughs> he was for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but thank God, thank God, in her upbringing. My mother had a stint where she worked at Popeye's. So he she has an emotional, you know what I'm saying? At the time, she has some of an emotional attachment to Popeye's. And she knew the quality of Popeye's. So held her strong, you know what I'm saying? 10, ten feet toes, down, 10 feet. I mean, 10 <laughs> toes, two, two feet strong in there. Y'all niggas is octopuses. We, hey, listen. <laughs> 10 toes, 8 in feet, there, 10 Yeah, eight. all that. But we was like, listen, niggas Popeyes, in the house listen. doing handstands. It was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a good fight, man. All them years, Popeyes versus chicken. And, and see, crib, we so. would in the mur- for some reason, my brother didn't have no Popeyes for a while. We did have Miss Winners. That's that's there we go, there we go. I st- I still no, and, but they closed the Miss Winners. That's not and all that's of them are closed. We, no, but and talking about Murfreesboro. Oh, okay. So and that's when we because they mo- like closed all the ones in Tennessee. Like, listen, talking about time. one of the most underrated chicken. Good biscuits. God Almighty. In the history of chicken biscuits, 
Ooh, you had, one I, chicken biscuit. I had to go get one. Oh, you I, you I, never I, had a Miss Wiggins? No, sir. I never had one. We talked about this before. Is that the first time? I forgot. Is there oh a Miss Wiggins God. anywhere near you? No. It's hard. Yeah, I can be. Yeah, it's might, hard no. to find them these days, bro. I Hold think on, the one there might still be one in the outskirts of, Na- of Nashville. It's, if you like, if you find, next time come somewhere. next time you come chat, we're going because they got the one in Cleveland. Yeah, oh, I got man. the one. I, I, I think I think we still got one on. Yeah, Green y'all Briar. still got a few down in. in I know. Yeah, I know they around here somewhere. It's just hard to find. Them bitches being in a, in a cut. You hear me? You, them got them. Y'all know goddamn the movie in ATL? I mean, the the, the 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 episode of ATL where they was where the kids were serving out the Miss Winners. Yeah, that's probably why they they start shutting shutting them down. That's probably why they be in the cut like that all the time, man. Can we buy one and franchise that motherfucker? I, I mean, it'd be worth it, brother, just for the chicken biscuits on. The chicken is good too. Don't give me the chicken is cool. very cool. Ah. It's a good spot. Good, I don't know what, good, what happened. Good bad, bad size? bullshit business apparently. Probably because it should be more of them out here. Mm. <laughs> why the fuck? They Might, not? Look at them franchise one of them. Chicken biscuit with cheese. Ooh. Wait, we'll look into it. Whoa. All right. Precisely. Yeah, I don't know about that. But hey, look, hold on real quick before we proceed. This ain't one of the moments where we dive into this or that. There is no discussion between churches and Popeye. So do not. I, I say this shit like. No, this is not Y'all going to piss no, me no. off. Y'all come in the comments talking about church and chicken, bro. I don't want to hear nothing. Because if you ain't had church, churches, don't fix your mouth to speak on churches. I done had it. And I'm fixing it. I'm telling you, don't come in here talking about churches. It, it let's not, now, if you come in the comments to shit on churches, by all means, all, all are welcome. Come on with it. But do not come in there praising churches. I don't want to hear that shit. Bro, look. It, it, church, it's churches, churches. Keep your good opinion to to yourself. I don't want is it. it the best chicken? No, but does it? Serve it's the worst. A, a per- mm. It's the worst. Name a worse fast food chicken, bro. You can't. Churches KFC. is the worst. KFC worse than churches. Mm-hmm. They, they both at the bottom. Because let me there. let me let me let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because churches, I mean KFC original, the skin be falling off. It has a good flavor, great taste, but the skin be falling off. Soggy. Ain't nothing it's good about churches. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't soggy. Then you got, if you want if you want an extra coating, you gotta get the extra crispy, not just tearing up the roof of your mouth. Well, at least you can say it's good seasoning, bro. Churches ain't even seasoned well. Ain't oh, nothing good about this, that. You ain't had they spicy. That's why. I don't, I don't gotta get all that extra Ooh. shit, man. If you're original, if you're original, what you coming with originally ain't it, bro. I don't even. That's a good point. Trying to you're point. right. You got a point, you know but for me, for is... me, in my house, <clears throat> I'm gonna have. I'll take churches over KFC. Now KFC fumbled. I got some bullshit business for KFC. Why'd y'all get rid of that grilled chicken? Because that whole was the, hidden. The, the grilled chicken did. That grilled slap. chicken was hidden. The, the, I can't. I can't. Cannot cap on that. KFC uh, grilled thought chicken. Of, thought of, but greasy it's, it's, churches. It's not, oh. Chicken thighs fucking me up over here right now. <laughs> oh, bro, I was just about to say the last time, the last time I had That's church chicken disgusting. was the last time I had church chicken because that thing gave me while well, I was on that toilet. I'm telling you, bro. Eight hours. I promise you. You get the game. I will up. never that, know what you to that bullshit. No, I was straight. I was good to go. This is prime training season right here. I had everything I needed in me. And then church got the rest out. Either way, we got off task, fellas. Once again, the main focus is. The Taco Bell wings are back, and I can't wait. Yeah, you can be the only one eating those. So. God bless you, brother. Matter of fact, when we get them, I'm going to have some on here. This shit like a baked monstrosity. It's just, no, it's just ugh, soft. And you know who wings need, really need to come back? What's that? Katie with me on this one. Yes, sir. Christmas. The Mighty no, Wings. The Mighty Wings. The Mighty Wings. The, the, the Wings at McDonald's. All right, we can go on to the next. To the next. To the next <laughs> what thing, you right? mean? Oh, 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 no, no, come on back. What you mean? By the wings, good, bro. Because first off, Chris, Chris has still got their wings, but I ain't gonna put myself through that. They fuck your stomach up. They fight. They fight. They fight. They fight. But goodness gracious, you gonna pay? But yeah, on to the next subject. KD, talk to us about Keith Lee, man. Oh yeah, man, Keith Lee. If y'all don't know who that is, man, he's one of the, the TikTokers. Uh, just got really famous for you know going and, and reviewing food at different res- restaurants. He's partnered with a lot of people. Uh, Good Morning America partnered with and uh, Mr. Beast on helping like struggling restaurants gain more exposure. Um, I know he's helped a, tons of places in, in Las Vegas area. I think that's where he lives at. Yeah, that's Las um, Vegas. Bringing in like so so many customers that like they barely can even you know handle the orders that are, that are coming in man and he's just doing a great job of of going out and, and continue to sponsor people and, and like you know you just gotta give a big shout out to him because you know like the impact he has alone on the restaurant just being able to walk in that motherfucker and eat some food review it and say it's good it gets bombarded right after that bro mm-hmm. and, and it's really helping people like stay above ground and you think about their families being able to do more um making more money for their families and, and really keeping them restaurants alive man i think you know 
he talks about it too. Like his mission, it, it wasn't to you know be famous. It was to really come out and help people. I mean, I just want to give a salute to him and all the things that he do, man. Because I want to see. That, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, so that's a uh, that's that's just phenomenal, man. The support he has, the following that he has, he can really go into any restaurant, bro, and change that person's life, bro. Shout yeah, out to him, that's man. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. If you don't shout follow him on him. TikTok, I, I think it's TikTok. It's just Keith Lee. Um, and like, shout out to him, what, man. But I want to go ahead. And like, one of the things about is like the way he presents, like he sits up and talks it's a certain way. But, but yeah. no, it's because he has social anxiety. Yeah, oh, okay. and so that's why he does it. But it's just such a wholesome. Like kind hearted dude, and you see some people try to talk talk stuff about him, but then everyone else came back and said, "No, nah. mm-hmm. <laughs> not Keith Lee. No, you hey, talk about who you want. You hey, gonna fix your mouth and talk bad he, about he is Keith protected, Lee. Protected, protected. I hope, uh, man, good shit, man. Shout out, there, but I want to know how much power you really got. I want to see him walk in churches and get that greasy ass <laughs> chicken and come out of there <laughs> and talk about how fucking bad it is and tank they fucking business because that's bullshit business. <laughs> he won't Keith do that. Lee, please do that. Because you know why? Because no, he don't lie. Your eyes fall upon this video. I pray the Lord will put in your heart to tank church's chicken for us, man. Just go but, in there, grab that greasy ass chicken thigh. Listen, go in there and say, let me get a two listen. piece greasy ass like, chicken thigh. And they're going to give it to you, bro. Come keep on. He's going to lie. Talk, oh, he going he gonna to tell the truth exactly, precisely why the business is going to be through. He's going to be like, man, this shit is, man, Crisco the fuck down. It's all he, listen. Mm, no flavor. But he's going to get to the biscuits. He's going to be like, biscuits, 10 out of 10. Chicken. <laughs> One out of ten. Value. Okra. Value. Ten out of ten. I'm okra. Now okra five. Ten out of ten. That okra is five. Can I say something Because church is really, you know what it is? Church is for the size, brother. It's for the size. Because the chicken is bullshit business. Okra don't hit like that. where it's at. Okay, we're gonna look, gonna get you. Like, yeah, take a glass off. Take a glass off. No, no, no. Take a glass off. Okra don't hit like that. That made me hit my green light. Okay. Yeah, okra is fire. No matter where you It's fire. Stop saying. Stop saying. Stop. Katie. Stop saying that shit. We didn't say the word is fire. Year. It's fire. Fire year. We reclaiming our word. It's fire. Listen, I know it's five, but when I'm trying to emphasize something, I gotta put some more words on it. Some you, more you, letters. You, you pull, hey, listen, you pull your face to, down like this listen, and say man, five. I've but it's more than that. It's five years. Churches is for the sides because the mashed potatoes, Facts. Baby, five. Facts. Green beans, mac, five. I can't say the And you get that as bad along as, with as, eight pieces of chicken for six dollars and to thirty your dog. five cents. <laughs> Give them to your dog. That that's your dog food. Like <laughs> you can't beat it, brother. Your dog can't. And in this account, no, you what? No, because you gotta realize what churches is doing for the people right now. Dividing you the black community, killing no, us slowly. No, it's crack. It that, is providing. Crack. When they got rid of crack, they put churches in it. It is providing families with an option to feed their family in this. Barren ass economy. Don't put it on economy. Church has been there. No. Don't, don't, try, don't try to twist it <laughs> for your favorite now. It's a staple for Church low income chicken, families is the to, of the to, to, provide, to provide themselves Lord with a fried it ain't even chicken experience. Is that what is that? With a fried chicken experience Man, listen. in their budget, within their means. Mm-hmm. Nigga, it's called y'all, Bojangles. Brother Mays, Brother Mays can fry Bojangles. Bojangles high as shit. Chicken. What you mean? Bojangles are expensive. It. It's Nigga, you crazy. It. It's worth it. Bojangles ain't expensive. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, it's crazy, but no. It, nigga, don't, don't ever fix your mouth and say Bojangles cheap. Nigga, I ain't say it was cheap, nigga. I just said... <laughs> now, nigga, let's not. Now, I, ain't now, cheap, I fuck but with it, Bojangles, it, too. But you first of all, the, the, the family did you know go crazy. No, Bojangles it do not. Here, man. Yes, it does. It's good, Regardless but it ain't all cheap. It's good food, man. It is not cheap. You get a gallon of tea. Bullshit. 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 It's not. It's bottom tier. It's bottom tier chicken for sure. That shit greasy as hell. Scum. Tighten up. You you like greasy ass chicken? That's okay. If you gotta take a napkin, if you could take a napkin and you know what I mean? Dead that shit, man. That shit nasty as a motherfucker. Like but a Philly cheesesteak, man. It been in the box when you get that chicken up out of there. <laughs> shit nasty as a hell. You order, you order one piece of chicken. That bitch Come on, the whole box. about to fall out the bottom man. of the bag. Yeah, man. You gotta ring them bitches dry. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sure. wing it. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna let the chicken go. But the last thing, for those of you that know about Big Chick, I don't know if y'all know about Big Chick, but if you know about Big Chick, you know. It's either, it might be a Georgia thing, but hey, man. Yeah, it's Georgia because yeah. what it's the fuck is that? Yeah. But great. But, 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 anyway, but, any, yeah. but anywho, anyway. Keith Lee, I mean, man. Cause, cause Maze, you, Maze you, tree, Maze. I hey. feel your interest. I see. I see the guys. Hey. <laughs> we gonna leave the chicken alone. <laughs> Listen, I need y'all to grab y'all we'll nigga, yeah, yeah, nigga, there, Grab your nigga scale. All right, we're done. We're <laughs> done. Dial it back just a yeah. bit. We're getting a little too excited about the chicken, man. What is that? What is that? All right.
One of these days. So grab, one of these days. Everybody with me. Grab that scale. Bring it back to the two, show three nights. Nice. Two, three nights. going to come to the A one of these days. I got you. Proceed. Sure. Grab that, grab that scale, both of y'all. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Dial it back. Yeah, I'm just dialing back. We need to talk about chicken. We had a, we had a, we had an eight point seven. We need to be back at a four on the nigga scale. I'm chicken cool. episode. So, all right, so Keith Lee, if you do see this man, we would love to do a little food review with you or something like that. It would be dope. I think uh, just be able to, you know, what I'm saying, help you spread some love, help spread some love over here, spread love everywhere, man. You know, so shout out to you and uh, yeah, man. What's the next topic, Chris? Next topic. You know, we spoke on McDonald's with the Mighty Wings, but they're going further than that. They're going way further than that. McDonald's now has an automated store. So this is down in Texas. Let's see what city that was. They didn't say. But yeah, down in Texas, there's a McDonald's that is fully automated. Not a single human worker inside. It's giving us the first look at the potential of future fast food. So bans on indoor dining early in the pandemic led fast food restaurants like McDonald's to serve more people via drive through leading to longer wait times. The number of people ordering through drive through services also surged. So customers interact with others less in person and more through their digital devices with heightened expectations for the service they receive, said CEO Chris uh, Kemp. Kim- Ooh, this, his name is a mother. <laughs> Yeah, you only place that shit on the screen so they can let the folks read it themselves. We're gonna say Chris K, because I ain't gonna butcher this man's name like that. <laughs> Said during an investor update in November 2020. At the same time, execs announced that they were testing concepts to better meet the needs of post-pandemic uh, customers. The future of fast food, these concepts are debuting at a highly automated restaurant just outside of Fort Worth, Texas. Instead of placing an order via mobile app, then either going into the restaurant or waiting in a drive through lane or curbside parking to get their food. Customers can pick it up at the store's dedicated drive through express lane where it will be delivered via conveyor belt. Since no one in this lane will be, pace, will be placing an order or waiting for food to be made, the hope is that this will move much faster than traditional drive through lanes. Man, they need to increase the motherfucking lanes a lot. They need about six lanes. <laughs> They're not gonna be Chick Fil A, bro. They ain't gonna do it. I'm saying, just regard it. Everybody, if you go to automation, just get, just put more lanes out there, man. If it ain't gonna be nobody inside, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. going inside is yeah. not gonna be an option. Put more lanes outside. You do gonna yeah, lane, true, like, true. Put more lanes <clears throat> outside. Make it like a six to eight lane spot. Make it just where yeah. you're just a drive through. You know what I'm saying? You got one little building where the food, I'll, where, I'll, where the food is stored at and shit, and everything else is just straight drive through. I mean, because Sonic got a great business model. They do. Yeah, they do. I mean, hey, have y'all, have y'all ever actually true. seen anybody fall on the skates? I'm trying to stay on topic, but fuck. <laughs> not, have, not, have you ever not, seen not, the person? I ain't person. seen nobody fall, yeah, but I saw him stumble. And it was years ago, because that's a, I'm pretty sure that's why they stopped doing it, because it's too much liability. Mm-hmm. And you dropping food. Then you Growing up fall, back in the day, fall. bro, you'd be hard pressed to pull up to a sunny. Yeah. Anybody was on foot. Like, anybody I'm talking, was they was on floating out there with your tray. Skates. Everybody was on skates. For real, for real, getting it. But yeah, it's getting probably it. bad business model for sure. Like, yeah, we're risking too much with workers' comp. You know how many ankles got we going on yeah. and off of curbs and sidewalks all day? Man, but you, anyway. Yeah, my but yeah, anyway, back <laughs> but to, anyway, back to McDonald's. Um, yeah. I think I, I think it's dope. I don't think I, the only question I got for McDonald's is, is that ice cream machine going to be broke? Bro, Still. Fact. I'm saying, bro. It's factual. You got automatic lanes, but you ain't question got no automated ice cream machine. I'm telling you. You can make a whole AI restaurant but you can't make an ice cream machine that's... Question <laughs> is, bigger question is, here we go. If the machine fuck your order up, who fixes it? Ooh. Who do you... Mm, questions that need answered. Who fixes hmm. it? Who do you... Who Do you Do you swing back around the drive through Like, y'all just fuck my order up? Is the machine going to accept that, that input? It gotta, it, it's going to have to be like one, like, maintenance person there or something that got to be, you know, take care of. What if, they, what, if, what if they come at the end of the night? Beginning of the day. It's gonna be one person. I, I, I see a bigger. I see a bigger picture for this though. I think I know Let's the see. real reason they're moving to this. Mm-hmm. They're trying and to push I, me. I, I think we. I think we misread it. Now that I reread it again, it's like they're not gonna be handing food out. There still might be people and they're making it. Okay, but it's gonna uh, be brought out. But this will help. I don't think fully eliminate, but it will help lower the number of fast food fights. For sure. Nah, naturally, mm. you take niggas out of there, niggas ain't got nowhere to be fighting at. Until now, a nigga jump up, drive through fights are gonna say. skyrocket. Yeah. 
Because the nigga like, gonna jump on a conveyor belt to get back inside. I didn't myself want to be the nigga in Chick Fil A line a few times. In Chick Fil A, but it's too holy of a place. Yes, bro. You know, nigga, bro. Oh no, 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 no. Let's talk about this. Not, not a Chick Fil A employee or nothing. But you know, I folks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I was gonna uh, say, whoa, whoa, whoa! Nah, that was gonna be breaking it's, news. It's the, it's the Lord's work over there, I'm man. Say, good. So them niggas gonna give you to my pleasures. They don't yeah, that. Good, that's man. what I'm saying. <laughs> my pleasures, my punches. <laughs> <laughs> what you, mm-hmm. what you mean? I was, yeah. I, even I was taken aback. Like, whoa, mm-hmm. man! All this automation shit, man. Listen, man. I don't know if y'all seen Interstellar and all this shit, man. They finna put. They trying to push niggas to the farms, man. They trying to. Make- <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Anthony Farms again, man. I'm gonna get to work. I think, I, bro, like I said, I, I think I think it's inevitable, bro. I mean, since they started making fucking cars, bro, automation was gonna be part of. Oh, never mind. Okay, ready? I didn't really fuck with Doug like that either. Oh, what? what? Mm-hmm. Oh, we got, have a, we got to have a cartoon debate another time. All right, we're gonna start at five. Hold on, wait, feel free. I feel like y'all that's what. Like a lot of times you're free it. today. Today you ain't nah, had to you ain't had to reset it by your mic. It just comes like y'all, y'all be see sometimes like that's why I just say frozen because sometimes I think I be done frozen and y'all still see me moving type shit. So nah, we we, 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 was, we we was talking about something. Different. Oh, okay, we okay. About what was y'all talking about? Y'all saying something about some cartoons? Doug, Doug, Katie, Katie I was, was doing the, the, Doug sing song and I was like, I ain't really fuck with Doug like that. Doug was yeah, yeah. The book the books were solid too. Though. Doug had some solid books to go along with the show, but all right. They had books. Wow. Cool, man. Let's do it. Uh, forty. Yeah. So I, I mean, I think you know whether we wanted or not, automation was always going to be part of you know the future. I mean, starting with how they started to mass produce cars to you know all the way up to now, I think AI is just going to be that next step of what's going to become like normal. Like it's just, just going to be a lot of auto, stuff going to be automated. It's going to save time. Think about it's it though, save bro. People, where did no? It's not where are these folks going to work at? They're going to find some other jobs. Farms. Tell yeah, me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's a lot of I've been, farming too, though. They're gonna eliminate ways to <clears throat> get rid of people because you've seen it with the the Microsoft. And, and, and I know we're in food right now, but it's like that's what's kind of looking at the tech industry and all the firings that they've had because mm-hmm. they swelled too much. They took on way too much. And but with Microsoft, they eliminated ten thousand jobs, but also invested ten billion dollars in AI work. Google eliminated twelve thousand in a day. Yeah. One day. But see now they look. All right, we ain't gonna pay y'all. We are gonna put invest in these computers to do. But work. I think there is one flaw in that, which is always come back to, is the human touch. Where they gonna mm-hmm. go? C- c- compassion, and like this, the service, the human, t- like you can't replicate the human interaction, no matter how much you try to. And they, they that, trying and they they miss. Are, but you can't replicate that, bro. Like mm-hmm. you, you, you can only. That's that's God. You, you ain't gonna be able to replace God. God's work. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be able to replace that. Yeah. So to that's me, gonna be the part that's gonna, always gonna be missing. Always gonna be like, why is it not working? Why is it? Why we can't perfect this? Because you take it away what it's meant to be. Right. So you ain't uh, Frankenstein. Stop that. No. Because yeah, you try to be God, you end up with a monster. Mm-hmm. I think you can, you can help humans. You can assist humans into further being more productive, but I don't think you can completely replace humans. All mm-hmm. right. Yep. Well, this week, y'all, we got a new segment. We told y'all it was coming last week. We done we we hit, we hit on a couple of times. We didn't hit on it, but now we have a, a specified segment for it. Mm-hmm. We're going to call it out when we see it. But now we got this is our bullshit business focus of the week. Of the bullshit week. Bullshit business. There is a well known whiskey called Fireball. I'm not a fan. I'm too old for that. Me either. For everybody who doesn't know, Fireball is a cinnamon whiskey. All right, five tastes like big red chewing gum, and they get you drunk. Not very smooth. It's party whiskey. So consumers are suing uh, Sazerac Company Incorporated, the makers of Fireball whiskey, for fraud and misrepresentation, as many bottles of the alcoholic beverage don't actually contain whiskey. The smaller mm. bottles, uh, named Fireball Cinnamon, are made of a bl- of a blend of malt beverage and wine. While the whiskey-based the products fuck? are called Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey, according to mm. the company website, the 99 cent bottles are sold in 170,000 stores, including gas stations and grocery stores, prompting prompting some customers to wonder what products they presume to contain liquor were doing there. The complaint says, upon clo- upon closer inspection, customers realized the description of the product was 
malt beverage with natural whiskey in other flavors and caramel color. Insinuating whiskey is an ingredient used in the drink with, when it actually uses whiskey flavor, according to the class action suit, which was filed earlier this month in the U.S. District Court for Northern District of Illinois. And said what the label means to say is that the product contains natural whiskey flavors and other flavors, but by not including the word flavors after natural whiskey, purchasers who look closely will expect the distilled spirit of whiskey was added as a separate ingredient. That shit crazy. That's just that's, 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 right that's diabolical. <laughs> Bruh. I know a couple that didn't spent their last few dollars on a couple of little bottles of <laughs> Cause you you go to get you go to the liquor store you see the little you know the airplane bottles right uh -huh. That's what they call. and so you're like, you know one I'm judging you you get what you deserve if you was doing this shit in the first place because you had no business doing this but anyway you know all I can think about are the bags that we keep missing when these the facts. companies have been exposed man we miss it's bags to be exposed we just need to find the oldest standing companies man the oldest standing products and let diving into them and as a matter of fact i need not be talking on this shit live i'm giving <laughs> away the sauce i'm giving away the sauce I'm let you know we look really so if you out there you've been on bullshit business cookbook gonna get you and we're gonna get you financially <laughs> monetarily first and then we're gonna come in here and talk about you <laughs> we coming but we're There's gonna get no that money first um researching believe that it's every week bro every week now somebody's getting got for bullshit business and they getting every got week. in court with a, you know what i mean they're getting for M's. They gonna get better that's just better they, they selling shit they ain't selling liquor you know what i mean yeah <laughs> they ain't selling whiskey. i can't but i see i don't drink a lot of fireball but i i know there's times i'm drinking those bottle. 99 99 cent bottles and i'm just thinking about i don't drink that nasty ass shit for nothing this shit ain't helped me get no more drunk than what i was once again you got what you deserve no, I didn't. You had you had no business I didn't. doing that. Not if somebody if somebody bought it to me, I'm gonna take it. It's okay. old product ain't done no changing in a long time. I'm over thinking hard about it. Hmm. Hmm. Man, I'm mad they got ain't yeah, But Fuck. Fireball, y'all getting the, the, <laughs> the stamp? That would have been the one right there. Fireball getting the stamp. Bullshit, bullshit business. business. Bullshit but they should put that bitch back across the screen. Boom. 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 Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit business, business, man. We ain't fucking with y'all. Bad yeah, ball there. Hope y'all enjoyed that first segment of Bullshit Business. We got many more to come. Call in Why with me, man. Send them in. So we're getting close about time to wrap this up real quick. You know, it's one of our favorite segments. One of y'all favorite segments is what's on your plate? KD, what you got on your plate, man? Uh, it's more like what's in my cup. You know, mm. uh, yeah. got that drink in my cup. <laughs> Something uh, like that. When uh, I do got that drink in my cup, you know what I you know what I prefer? Three, four. If I'm using a uh, a utensil to help aid me enjoy my beverage i'd rather not i'd rather not have it disintegrate all over mm. the place mm. fold I, I i've 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 come to the point where you know i tried to reason i tried to become you know understanding with the this development and innovation but we got to get rid of paper straws mm. they hold they hold no value man like mm. they not they not a good s substance to keep drinking out of mcdonald's mm -mm -mm. shout out mcdonald's because they on top of the game right now mcdonald's is coming out with Strawless lids, mm, pretty mm -hmm. much like a sippy cup. Pretty much a sippy cup. I thought about that, man. I'm sorry. Go, I'm sorry, Brian. No, you, we see yeah, them with they, coffee. They, they, like, yeah, you see, we see them with coffee. You know, they got I don't know if I want cups. that like, shit out of a fast. It's too many hands touching that. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no paper covering that. You know what I'm saying? At least a straw is covered when you get it. I'm the only one touch that straw. You know what I'm saying? You got to but, but a lot of motherfuckers touch. They touch. They touch. They touch some cups all over the place too. But anyway, but yeah, you ain't wrong. But I, I'm fuck with. This. I just want a regular straw. I understand. And then first like, of all, do you realize what that McDonald's sprite would do if you just turn that shit back like that? It's gonna bust your chest wide open, man. Then like going a, to like, the ER. Oh, for sure. Like somebody that shot you McDonald's with a twelve gauge. I don't in think the McDonald's chest. considered the amount of lawsuits they're gonna get when they put in that top from from the cup, from the cup, from, from, from the top. Oh, because that sprite oh, okay. running you know rushing your chest like when all that. When all, when like that right but it's gonna be this much, when this much sprite is going in your mouth at one time. That shit no, it ain't gonna be that. It ain't gonna be that. <laughs> you know, that shit loud no, because bro, you clear your chest. It ain't gonna be that. It's gonna be taking a sip bro. from the straw. Come on, if you just take that shit, just cardiac arrest. That shit loud to send you into cardiac arrest for real, bro. I don't. I bro, I want no part. I, I'm not saying, but I don't think you can get that much at one time, bro. From like a sippy cup part, you will, bro. Because not a sip. Ain't no divider, and it's just the space. No, oh, it, 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 no, it, 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 it ain't gonna. No, it ain't gonna be like that. They you gonna get, get more than you, 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 you ain't had the one. You ain't, you ain't had the plastic little tops that come from like a Starbucks. 
I have like with the with the with yeah the a lot don't come out of that drinks. yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot don't come out of that and no it, that ain't sprite that ain't so carbonated it, it, it still ain't gonna come out of that as much though that's what I'm saying that fire, look when that fire come out of there <laughs> and, 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 All right, and, we see. and get hold to that chest. Listen, as long as long as the shit fucking God paper have strong, mercy. Listen, I do, I do, I do want to save the turtles. I do, I do care about the animals and the environment. Let's just not do paper straws because yeah, I, I'm digesting there, paper there as I'm drinking my drink. I know I've seen some like like bamboo straws. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can do that. You know, stuff like that. I feel you because the paper. Because sometimes if you're chilling, if you out, especially if you're out somewhere, you're at a restaurant or something, trying to enjoy your drink. And just sit and like because you got your drink and you got your water glass. I, I keep a drink, you know, with the water and stuff, but. That paper straw will just be getting crumbly and disintegrated. I'd rather Can't drink it straight it. from the glass than that. At that point, I got an uncle, man, who was at a family family gathering maybe ten years ago. Man, my auntie brought him a coat. Said, "Uncle Charlie, you want a straw?" He looked at her. He said, "I don't suck on nothing." <laughs> that was the end of that. I ain't looked at a straw the same since. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, he looked at a straw the same since, bro. Oh my god, <laughs> that's hilarious. He meant that oh shit. He my was god, offended, bro. But I, offended. listen, all we got to do is get rid of these goddamn paper straws. Let's find something else. Get some titanium straws, vibranium I'm straws. I'm with it. Hey, one maze got over there. No that's straws, straw right there. bamboo straws. Hey, How about Uncle this? Uncle Charlie, Uncle Charlie. Everybody just no walk straw. around with your own straw. Everybody got a designated straw. You can buy them, bring them to the. I fuck with that too. Get your little straw cleaner. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even, you the, even if you did the metal straws, you can, you can them dishwasher safe. Put them back in there. Don't wash them. Man, you still need your wire straw cleaner with that, brother. Yeah. You don't feel yeah. 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 Free bands. What you got on your plate, man? Oh, uh, man. Talk to your people, man. I had a good day. Maybe Thursday, Wednesday last week. Set my phone down. No bullshit. I know some folks that thought I was lying. <laughs> for sure. I set my phone down. I did not touch my phone for maybe like four or five hours straight for real for real didn't touch it and talk with my mom and my little brother for a long time bro just about a lot of shit that shit was amazing it was good therapy session man i think on uh, this day and age we get caught up in, i know we do like we get caught up in our phones a lot and shit i'm a victim of it just like everybody else you know what I'm, I'm guilty of it rather just like everybody else but uh i think um i think some of the most at least for me and my family we have a very close-knit family and some of the best times we had were back like, you know, we had good times regardless, but some mm-hmm. of the best, most just, you know what I'm saying, tuned in was back before all this shit, before all this technology and shit. My dad was not one for this shit. So it just, it took us back that day, you know what I'm saying? And for whatever reason, it wasn't even a conscious thing. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, I'm finna sit my phone. I just got to talk with my folks and I just, you know, you had moments like, damn, let me mm-hmm. check my phone. So she was like, nah, fuck it. Like, let me just, so I guess that was conscious, but yeah, man, talk to your people, talk to your people, man. Make sure you, you know what I'm saying? Just make time for them, man. Set your phone. To, what the fuck was that? Did y'all hear that? One of them Hellcats, boy. Good God almighty, they've been running. But, uh, <laughs> <I'm pulling. laughs> make sure you, uh, make sure you got down, you know, man. Just set, set some time aside for you folks, man. Put put that phone down, man. Get in front of your people. It's a human interaction, man. There's, there's nothing that can replace it, you know, because me, especially me, like I struggle with work from home because I'm used to being in the office around with people feeding off their energy. And so I, I catch myself on my phone a lot because that's something I'm looking for. So, you know, just being around people, you got to have it. people. Man, and I'm going to take that a step further, fellas, man. And I'm, I ain't, we just, we done grown up in this age, man. But I heard an old head talking about it. I forgot, who was it? Somebody on, man, hey man, call these women, man. Stop texting these women, man. We we are supposed to, man, verbal communication, man. That's what that's, we, that's, that's, that's what we Conversation about. rules and that. Call, man. listen, I ain't going to say it like I'm the... We we grew up in this age, a lot of us. You dig know what I'm saying? So we done cut we done, we have become accustomed to this shit and we weren't, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't listening to Pops and then we were saying, get off that phone. Call, call that girl, man. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Same applies, man. Get 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 in front of her. You dig know what I'm saying? If you can't if you can't get in front of her, call her, man. Straight up. Cut that text and shit out as free much as you can. Free, man. Straight up. Yeah, man. I, I, but like you said earlier, free uh I know me and my family, we right now we planning a trip somewhere. Um, yes, yeah, sir. Like Charlotte or, or somewhere, we going somewhere. Uh, we ain't did that in a while. It's like a family, oh, so I got we blocking our time now. About to get everything straightened out, so it's, it's gonna be me, my mom, my, my brothers, and stuff. My, my grandparents. Get in front of your people, just, man. Get in front of your people. Just go out and just hang out with the fam, man. Out of town somewhere, have a good time, man. It's, it's it can be simple. It don't have to be you know like you know a whole trip. It can be just, just go home, have dinner. You know what I'm saying? Sit at the house, sit on the porch, like we talked about. You know. Um, they don't have to be a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Just, mm-hmm. just go Toilet. back, connect. Just go back, connect. It's connect. I guarantee you, it's a reach for your It's a reach for your It's a reach for for you. Shit feel good. It's therapy. Mm-hmm. For sure, man. 
What you got? All right. So but it's on your plate, so. Mine is happiness. And yes, sir. Being in control of your happiness and take man more so more importantly taking control of your happiness um especially for fellas you know because we get a lot of pressure to make everybody else happy you can't make anybody else happy if you're not happy and sometimes the decisions that you make are going to leave some other people unhappy and there's there's definitely a certain level of of compromise when you know dealing with people whether it be friendships business relationships whatever i mean you can't have your way all the time but you need to be making decisions that in the long run are gonna leave you happy you know so don't ever feel and this is for you know women too but i just want to speak to the fellows for a second because you know we're constantly getting that pressure um but don't make a decision don't continually make decisions that you aren't happy with and are going to mm. keep you in a state of unhappiness because then you then you start to you know resent people you start to resent yourself you know because you didn't make the decision that you re- didn't want to do and you, you're not living the life that you want and at the end of the day at the end of the day no one can make you do anything now if you you know there's certain situations that you get yourself in you have responsibilities to take care of cool but when it comes time to make the decisions, you know, feel, I want you to feel empowered to make the decision that you make and, and don't feel any qualms about it because regardless of what anybody says, you got to live your life for yourself Ain't nobody else living your life. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they might have expectations or desires of what they want you to be, but at the end of the day, you're responsible for that. Mm-hmm. And they, like you said, you have to live your life. They get to live theirs or they have lived theirs and you know you can learn from the mistakes of others and see things that they did that they that you knew that that they knew they didn't like but went ahead mm-hmm. anyway and the result that came from it versus living up making your own decisions and being the person that you want to be so at the end of the day you know you're in control of your happiness yep. no no one else mm-hmm. Man, i got this i don't know i'm sitting here thinking it's like damn because Naturally, you know what I'm saying, as a man, most of us probably you you want to take care of people, you know what I'm saying? You want to be you want to let anybody down. For sure, you don't want to let anybody down. But also what I catch, especially my friends, what I catch myself telling, especially my friends with kids and shit, and those I know with kids that do the whole, you know what I'm saying? Like you do a lot of sacrificing of your own happiness for your kids. And I think to to some degree that's necessary for all parents. You do know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. When it comes to, um, we're talking like in regards to like your feelings and your emotions and shit for the most part, not like the momentary shit, the long-term shit, the real life, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, shit. You can only be but so good to everybody else, you know what I'm saying, if you're not treating yourself. For the most yeah. part, man, I just just to say like, I don't, I don't, you can only be but so good to your kids, to your family, to your girl, to your whoever, man, your, whoever mm-hmm. you're dealing with in life, you can only be so good to the world if, you, if you're not, you know what I'm saying good to yourself first so make sure you prioritize your happiness and yourself above all else you know what i'm saying above everybody else and then the 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 things that you give to yourself and you know what i'm saying the energy and all that good shit that you pour into yourself it'll be so good and you'll be so full that that shit ain't gonna it has no choice but to overflow and fall on those up under you that you take care of and that you love and that you want to take care of anyways bro so just take care of yourself first and be the best version of yourself first and then you can get them the best version. You can give them the best version of you. You know what I'm saying? That's greater love. That's greater attention. That's mm-hmm. greater focus. That's greater financial support. Whatever you want it, bro. Just take care of you first and then do that. And the thing, yeah. one and, thing uh, is, like, we don't realize the smaller <clears throat> moments build up. If you're constantly, exactly. you know, constantly, 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 constantly not choosing your happiness, now you're, that's how you end up in an unhappy state. Yep. And you also, when you get like that, you still gonna bleed that? Are you gonna that shit gonna bleed out you? And you gonna that energy gonna pass Ooh. off to those around you? So either way, you gonna pass the energy off. Some people might think happiness is just like a feeling. Um, I see it more as a as a journey. Um, you know, and it's you know obviously it's a movie about a pursuit of happiness. I think it actually is a pursuit of happiness because happiness can be here one day and fade the next. You know, um, I think you continually have to do things like we've been talking about all together, just doing things to continually push towards being in that state. Um, once you stop doing those things, it makes it hard. I mean, it fades away. Um, you have to find something new to keep you happy. Like, you know, one thing doesn't always keep you happy for forever. Um, you're going to change. Situations are going to change. Life's going to change. So it's, it's that, for, that ever-ending, you know, pursuit of 
the things that actually make you happy and finding out what those things are and, and learning how to, to let things go so you can continue that pursuit as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I want to add on there. And like I said, this isn't, I, I wanted to emphasize that for the fellas, you know, because a lot of times we don't hear those type of messages, but this is for, in, this is for the women too, you know, maximize, you know, do the things that make you happy, make decisions that make you happy. Don't put yourself in situations that you don't really want to be in because me, I'm a very strong will person. I ain't got to do anything, but if I choose to, whatever decision I make, I something that I, that I happily want to do. Prioritize you know? yourself. Got to. But with that being said, yeah, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us for 20 episodes. I ain't gonna tell y'all. A whole lot more coming. A whole lot more coming. We got, we keep talking about, but when time's right, we got tell to them about, Tell them about, about the BEC Awards. Tell them about the BEC oh, Awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so last night, so last night, uh, we attended the BEC Awards. We were up for Best Podcast. Unfortunately, we, we weren't able to, to uh, come home with the award this year. And shout out to uh, the People's Podcast. That's who won the local uh, Chattanooga Podcast. Uh, based on activism, so shout out to them and the great work that they're doing. Um, so hey, we're gonna keep uh, keep put our heads back down, keep grinding, keep working, keep depending on y'all, you know, because hey, because it's voted, it's a voted award. So we're gonna keep building up this base, because and how we're gonna build it up? Free time, how we gonna build it up? I'm tired of saying I'm tired, I'm tired of being tired. <laughs> y'all gonna get y'all motherfucking ass on here. <laughs> y'all gonna repost, y'all gonna uh, retweet, y'all gonna do all that shit. Uh, listen, bro. God damn! Yeah. Listen, man, I ain't gonna tell y'all no more, bro. I ain't gonna tell y'all no more. Get y'all ass on there, hit that repost. But we button. we do appreciate on every your story, repost, on your every page, like, every repost, all that shit. But yeah, man, if you <laughs> like us, if you like us, share with somebody else who might like. Yeah. Us. You know, I you like your favorite music artists, you putting them out. Put yeah, I got a couple of y'all. Out, I got a couple of y'all. I got my own specific. I ain't gonna say who, but I got like ten but people. Just I just, done, just done randomly selected. If I don't see well, yeah, a repost on y'all ass. I'm on y'all ass. I'm gonna DM you personally. Stop playing. You don't know who it is. So, yeah. It's coming. Unless you're not afraid of me. It's okay. You ain't got to be afraid of me. Anybody ever said you got to be afraid? Get your ass whooped. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, man, for real, man. We love y'all, man. Repost, man. Shout yeah, out, yeah. man. Subscribe. All that good we, stuff, man. Just know. We, well, once again, we thank y'all for rocking with us. 20 episodes. We got a lot on the way for you. We got, we got, we got a lot on the way. And always, sure. thank you to Even Us Digital. We keep getting questions. Like, last night, we got multiple questions about people trying to get in the podcast game. Now, you know what we told them? Holler at Even Eyes Digital. Mm-hmm. Help us get right, continue to help us to grow our product and grow as professionals in this industry. And it will, they will help anybody do the same. So if you if you need some help, if you're interested in getting to the podcast game, hit up Even Eyes Digital. And with that being said, it's, it's the cookbook, the baby. Cookbook, baby. You. Yeah. And we 